Is there a problem with your Fisher washer? Well, you've come to the right place. In today's repair guide, we'll be discussing error codes, troubleshooting, and repair tips to help get your washer back on track. Need more help? Check out our website. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Fisher washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Fisher washer error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code 21, 26, 27, 49, 50 or 246. Problem. Water inlet valve failure. Fix. Unplug the washer and reconnect any loose wires on the water inlet valve assembly. Replace the wire harness if damaged. If the resistance of each water inlet valve is not 61 ohms. Replace the water inlet valve assembly. Code. 38 or 39. Problem. Water level pressure transducer air tube failure. Fix. Unplug the washer and reconnect the water level pressure switch air tube. Replace the air tube if damaged. Code. 58 or 68. Problem. Water level pressure transducer failure. Fix. The water level pressure transducer is incorporated into the motor control module. Unplug the washer and replace the motor control module. Code. 10. 41. Or 237. Problem. Thermistor water temperature sensor failure. Fix. Unplug the washer and reconnect any loose wires in the thermistor circuit. Replace the wire harness if damaged. Replace the thermistor if resistance is not 12.5 kelvins ohms at 68 degrees F code. 1. 57. 60. 107. 108. 112. 133. 220. 221. 222. 223. 224. 225. 226. 230. 232. 233. 236. 243. 252 or 254. Problem. Motor control module failure. Fix. Unplug the washer and replace the motor control module. Code. 45. 46. 103. 104. 105. Or 106. Problem. Display module failure. Fix. Unplug the washer and replace the display module. Code. 234. 235. 238. Or 239. Problem. The lid lock is defective. Fix. Unplug the washer and reconnect any loose wires on the lid lock assembly. Replace the wire harness if damaged. If the resistance ISNT 63 ohms. Replace the lid lock assembly. If the resistance is correct. Replace the motor control module. Code. 40. 56. Or 160. Problem. The spin basket is not engaging or disengaging from the clutch. Fix. The spin basket must be able to rise and fall with the water level to engage and disengage from the clutch. Unplug the washer and pull out the spin basket. Remove any foreign objects between the spin basket and the tub that could be interfering with spin basket clutch engagement. Replace any damaged drive components. Code. 136 or 137. Problem. Motor not running. Fix. Unplug the washer and rotate the spin basket. If the spin basket doesn't rotate freely, remove any foreign objects between the spin basket and the tub. If the spin basket rotates freely, replace the drive motor because the motor is likely defective. If the problem persists, replace the motor control module. Code 37, 114, 245, 247, 248, 249, 250 or 253. Problem. Water not draining. Fix. Remove any clogs from the house drain for the washer. Remove any clogs or kinks from the washer drain hose. Unplug the washer and check the drain pump for a clog. If the drain pump is defective, replace it. Code. 241. Problem. Display module or motor control module failure. Fix. Unplug the washer and replace the display module. If the code doesn't clear, replace the motor control module. If you're looking for help fixing your Fisher washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Fisher washer troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. The washing machine won't turn on. Check that the washing machine is plugged in and switched on at the wall. Try another power socket to be sure.
Check that there has not been a power failure at your address. Switch the power off. Wait 60 seconds and switch it back on to reset the machine. The machine won't fill when the start. Pause button is pressed. Check that the door of the machine is closed properly. Check that the wash cycle has not been paused. If so, the start. Pause button will be flashing. Press the start. Pause button again to restart the cycle. Check for an error code on the machine's front panel. Check the hot and cold water taps that supply your machine are turned on. Check for blocked filters in the inlet hoses. Clear blockages and try again. Check for and straighten any kinks in the water hoses. The washing machine stops working mid-cycle. Check for an error code on the machine's front panel. Check that there has not been a power failure at your address. If so, restart the wash cycle once the power supply is restored. Check that the wash cycle has not been paused. If so, the start. Pause button will be flashing. Simply press the start. Pause button again to restart the cycle. A buildup of detergent suds can cause this problem. Check that you are using a front loader specific detergent. The wash cycle will restart when the suds have dissolved. The washing machine drains while it is filling. Check that the drainage hose is installed correctly and is not too low. Check that the outlet end of the drainage hose is not sitting in water. The washing machine ISNT draining. Check for blockages in the drainage hose. Clear and try again. Check that the pump filter ISNT blocked. Check that the drainage hose is not more than 1200 mm above floor level. If it is too high, adjust and try again. The washing machine is filling continuously. Check that the drainage hose is positioned in the standpipe or tub. If not, adjust and try again. Check that the standpipe or tub is at least 800 mm above floor level to avoid siphoning. The washing machine's rinse cycle ISNT working properly. Check that you are using a low suds. Front loader specific detergent. Check that you're not using too much detergent. Check that the wash load is distributed evenly in the machine. Try the machine's rinse plus function. The washing machine ISNT spinning properly. Check that the wash load is distributed evenly in the machine. Check that your machine is not rocking or moving while it is running. If necessary, adjust the feet so that the machine is level. The washing machine is producing too many suds. Check that you're using a low suds. Front loader specific detergent. Check that you're not using too much detergent. Water is coming from the bottom of the washing machine. Check that the drainage hoses are not damaged and are fitted correctly. If not, adjust and try again. Monitor the wash cycle when you suspect leaks. Too many detergent suds can cause this problem. Check that you are using the correct amount of a front loader specific detergent. Monitor the wash cycle when you suspect leaks. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer is closed properly. Check the rubber seal on the inside of the door for damage. If the seal is damaged, it will need to be replaced. The wash cycle is taking longer than normal. The machine is displaying the inaccurate time remaining. Your machine's wash cycle time is an approximation and can vary depending on a number of factors, including household water pressure, unbalanced wash loads and a buildup of detergent suds. Differing cycle times will not affect the quality of the wash. The detergent fabric conditioner is left in the detergent dispenser drawer at the end of the wash cycle. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer is closed properly from the start of the wash cycle. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer is clean. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer has not been overfilled. Check for blockages in the detergent dispenser drawer. If the liquid is sitting at max level in the dispenser drawer at the end of the wash cycle, it may be blocked. It is normal for a small amount of water to remain in the detergent dispenser drawer at the end of the wash cycle. If you're looking for help fixing your Fisher washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Fisher washer repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Fisher manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Fisher appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Washer not turning on. Power is not switched on at the wall. Switch the power on at the wall. Then press power. The household power supply not working. Try plugging in another electrical appliance. Keylock may be activated. Touch and hold the keylock button for two seconds. Touching play. Pause does not start the fill. The washer door is not closed properly. Open and reclose the door. The washer is waiting for a command from you. If play, pause is flashing then the washer is waiting for a command from you. The washer has detected a fault. 
Check if a code is being displayed on the panel. Hot and cold taps are not turned on. Check that both hot and cold taps are turned on if using cold inlet only ensure inlet valve cap is installed on the hot valve on the machine. If present, hot and cold taps are not connected to the corresponding valve on the machine. Check the cold tap is connected to the cold valve on the machine and the hot tap is connected to the hot valve if present. Blocked hose filters. Check the tap end of the inlet hose S for blockages. Inlet hose leaking. Twisted or damaged. Check the inlet hose for leaks or damage. Check that the inlet hose is not twisted. Faulty water supply. Check taps that aren't connected to the machine are working. The washer stops working mid-cycle. The washer has detected a fault. Power or water failure. Check the power and or water is working correctly. The washer has been paused. Touch the play. Pause button to continue. Too many suds. Washer is waiting for suds to dissolve before continuing the cycle. Washer drains while filling. Drain hose too low. Ensure the height of the drain hose is at least 800 mm from the floor level. Drain hose sitting in water. Clear the drain. The washer is not draining. Drain hose blocked. Clear the drain hose. Pump filter blocked. Clear the pump filter. Drain hose higher than 1200 mm above floor level. Lower the level of the drain hose not spinning properly. The load has gone out of balance. Open the door and redistribute the load. Then restart the washer. The machine is not level. Ensure the machine is correctly leveled. Suds build up. Check the amount of detergent used. Reduce if necessary. A small puddle of water from under the machine. Inlet hose or drain hose leaking. Check inlet hose S and the drain hose are correctly attached and not damaged lots of suds. Suds may have leaked and then dissolved. Detergent dispenser blocked. Clean detergent dispenser drawer. Detergent dispenser drawer not fully closed. Close the detergent dispenser drawer fully and ensure it remains closed during the cycle. Damage to the door seal. Check the seal inside the door for damage. If it sustains any damage it will need to be replaced. Vibrating. Transit bolts left in place. Ensure transit bolts are removed prior to use of the machine. The washer may not be level. Ensure the washer is installed on an appropriate surface and leveled correctly. Load is out of balance. Wash an average sized load rather than a smaller load or a single item. Washing one item at a time is not recommended as it is difficult for the washer to balance a single item during spin. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.